the crypt. Out! What? Are you blind? That ball was on the line, pal! Oh, hello, kiddies. I was just warming up for the Wimbledoon tennis tournament. Normally, I love a bit of stiff competition, but this guy is driving me nuts. Still, the match isn't over yet. We're playing Beast 2 out of 3. <laughs> Which brings to mind the man in tonight's tale. He's about to play a little die-breaker of his own in a sickening haxibition I call... Kidnapper. It's funny the effect a baby can have on people. Not ha-ha funny, but funny. One time the vicar at my church said that children are God's opinion that the world should go on. I don't know if I agree with him or not. I guess deep down I always thought he stole that off a T-shirt. Still, it's funny the effect a child can have. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Cute. You a boy or a girl? It's a boy. My girlfriend had a baby last year. I mean, there are things you never think about when a baby comes along. Until it's too late, that is. You have to feed them, clothe them, and keep them healthy. Hello, little fella. <laughs> it's a lot of work, and expensive too. I mean, you can't believe it. I'll take him now, thank you. Back to mummy. Back to mummy. Babies can put a real strain on a relationship, even the strongest. Believe me, I know firsthand. My girlfriend and I, we're no different than any other couple. When I first met her, she was pregnant and homeless. It was Christmas time and nobody came come in for days except to use the toilet. By the way, my name's Danny Skeggs, just like it says on my name tag. Hello? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the toilets are, uh, are for employees only. I don't want to use your loo. I just wanted to do a bit of business with you. Oh. Right, um, sorry, well, um, let, let's have a look. Um, could you tell me what this is worth? Oh, family heirloom. It's my grandmother's. Um, how much? I'm not sure. I mean, um, I, I, I'll have to uh, look it up. Um, stay right there. <laughs> Miss? Miss? You passed out. Do you want me to get you an ambulance? No. No ambulances. 
Are you sure? Perhaps you should see a doctor. Look, can you just tell me how much for the bracelet? Um, well, it's worth about £350, but, um, I can only afford to give you 75 should probably hang on to it. I can't. I need the money. It belongs to your grandmother. Look, I'll just take the £75, OK? Sit, sit here. Oh. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, sorry, people, they, they don't come back here much. It's OK. She's pretty. Don't. Oh. Look, have you got somewhere to live? Look, if you're not willing to give you me the money... You can stay with me. What? No. At least until the baby's born. It's an option. That's very nice of you. But I couldn't. I don't even know you. Not much to know. I own the shop, I live alone. Besides, you could keep your grandmother's bracelet. And... And what? It's Christmas. No one should be alone at Christmas. I just want to help. Are you lonely, Danny? Danny. No one calls me that anymore. I like it. Yes, I am. Me too. Look, Danny, I'm going to be really honest with you. This baby's father hurt me really badly. And I'm not looking for anyone to replace him. What I need is a friend. Right. I understand. Friends. Teresa was wonderful. As the months passed by, I realised that for the first time in my life, I knew what it was like to be in love. It didn't matter that she was pregnant with another bloke's baby, or that we didn't, you know, I couldn't have cared less. All that mattered was her happiness. <laughs> and he just went splat. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. You're making it up. No one's daft enough to dry a wet hamster in a microwave oven. It happened to a friend of, of a sister, of one of my customers. It's true, I swear it. <laughs> what do you know? I know this. I really like having you here, Teresa. You can stay here as long as you want. You and the baby. I mean that. I appreciate that. I love you. I'll clear the dishes. That look she'd given me clinched it. She was in love with me too, in a big way. It didn't matter how we started. We were together now, and everything was perfect. Me, Teresa, and the baby. I thought we said we were going to the cinema tonight. I can't, not with his tummy hurting. Why don't you go by yourself? Because I went by my bloody self last time. I want to go with you like we used to. Oh, grow up, Daniel. <laughs> Maybe he wouldn't be crying all the time if he didn't have that bloody great stupid birthmark on his ass. Fuck you! I think it was obvious. I wasn't angry for me, I was angry for Teresa. That baby, Mr Needy, 
was draining the life out of her. He always had to be the centre of attention, and it just wasn't healthy. For her own good and for the good of our relationship, something had to be done. I'm sorry about last night. It's all right. I think all our problems are just temporary. Do mine. Did you? Uh, I... Do you want a hot dog? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Are you warm? Are you happy? Always been my illusion. My! Not anymore. I do it better. You badass bitch. Chill. I told you. Don't oh, criticize me. Stop it, you bastard. I'll call the police. Everything had gone as planned. We were free. <laughs> Must be something you could do. Look, I'd give up a month's pay if I could hand you that baby tonight. We're going to do everything we can. The birthmark helps, but if we could just have a better description of the guy who... I told you, I couldn't see him. What do you want from me? Teresa, come on now. <laughs> You did everything you could. You both did. Why did they take my baby? <laughs> yeah. Give her these. They'll make her sleep, give you a chance to rest. <laughs> Thank you. For what it's worth, I've got three of my own. If I ever caught someone looking funny at one of them, I'd kill the bastard faster than he could scream police brutality. Look, Mr. Skeggs, I have to level with you. Over a hundred babies turn up missing in this country every year. 
Most are what we call custody snatches. A few are grabbed by the emotionally disturbed. Then there's the black market. The rest. So, 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 so you're t telling me the, uh, the odds aren't, aren't good? I'm telling you to prepare yourself. If this doesn't work out, it's going to be a long road back. my baby back. Don't worry. <laughs> Please, God, give me back my baby. We'll get him back. <laughs> Danny. Yeah? Can you sit with me? Please. Yeah, sure. Remember, no, no matter what happens, you still got me. I'll still be here. It'll be like the old days. Better even. We, we can have our own baby if you want. I love you. <sighs> to show you. Teresa needed a hero. If I could return the baby to her, she'd have to love me. You what? Get the fuck out of here. I want my baby back. Well, you can't have him back. He's gone. What do you mean? You only picked him up the other day. Yeah, and he's already been placed, you monkey. Do you have any idea what a white newborn baby is worth? Yeah. Exactly what you paid me. Two thousand pounds. <laughs> Ten times that, idiot. I know doctors and lawyers who queue up round a block for a placement like him. That kid was signed, sealed and delivered in under two hours. Now, look, you get my baby back. Or I'll have the police in here so fast, your head will spin. OK, OK, sit down. You made your point. Just get me my baby back. Snaps! Meet Daniel Skanks. How's it hanging, Skanks? All right, I suppose. Mr. Skeggs here was just telling me he wanted his baby back. He said if we don't, he's going to call the police. Sounds pretty grim. I'm desperate. My girlfriend. We paid you good money for the kid. That makes you an accessory to kidnapping. The police wouldn't like that much. They wouldn't have to know. You're still not getting it, Skeggs. <laughs> If I ever see you again, if I ever even hear your name, you are a dead man. Now, get him out of here. La, 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 la. Teresa? Teresa? Shh, Danny. Can't you see he's asleep? Mummy's little baby was hiding in the rubbish behind the flats, weren't you? Yes, she No! 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 I 
nothing. Sorry, what did you say? My baby. Please give him to me. Holding the baby suddenly got me thinking. I can make Teresa better and be her hero. All babies look alike. They all eat, sleep and cry. What's the difference? If you ask me, one baby's as good as another. Thank you. No! My baby! My baby! My baby! Feeling you try something. Teresa's baby. My baby. But there was nothing I could do about it now. It's funny the effect a baby can have on people. Poor Daniel. I bet he never thought he'd get such a kick from falling in love. At least in the end, he did the writhe thing. <laughs> As for me, kiddies, I've got to get back to my game. I've been on quite a winning shriek. <clears throat> now that's what I call a service break. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha